if I look at consumers and lots of people ask me, okay, what should I take? I said, nothing if you don't know who you are. So, <laughs> so what, what do I mean? Um, I just explained that we have molecules uh, antagonizing the aging process. Everybody is aging a little bit differently. We understand, I think that's also a debate, but we understand in my view what aging is. But everybody has a different sort of problem in the aging aging process. There might be that for one. Uh, autophagy has to be upregulated for the other one. Proteins has to have to be stabilized for, for another person. There are too many senescent cells and they need different approaches. As a normal conventional medicine, first you analyze where the need is and then you are finding an intervention which is targeting that need. So if we are talking about supplements, it should be the same. It doesn't help, for example, if somebody takes vitamin B12 for a vitamin D deficiency. There's a mismatch. It will not help. Again, for the anti-aging sort of supplements, it's the same. First analyze what you need and then take it. Can consumers do it themselves? Um, I doubt that because it's highly complicated. It's complex. Um, there's new science, how we analyze where the biology of a, of a human uh, is. And then it needs a dedicated approach. So you need somebody who really studied it and has knowledge about it. Yeah, in fact, one of the booths at the conference was, uh, uh, the, I think there were two actually measuring the NED level. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. So there's lots of deba debate with regards to NED levels. What is the right kit? Uh, we do studies at the Young Lin School to actually to to now compare all the kits to see what their reliability is. So does it measure what it should measure? Is it is it aligned? Uh, and I think that's very interesting because in the end, the consumer should actually have consumer tools to be able to make make choices. Not everything should be medicalized. Absolutely not. But any D levels to measure it absolutely makes sense. Our recent publication in GeroScience actually shows that first, if we measured any D levels, we gave uh, an amino, we measured again, that this is highly um, beneficial to have a greater clinical outcome and a better clinical outcome. Um, and it makes sense because if you're looking at normal medicine, nobody would inject insulin in somebody without knowing what the glucose level is. Nobody would give an antihypertensive drug without measuring the blood pressure and measuring it, of course, again. So the same for supplements, NED level measurements, NMN supplementation, NED level, again, measurements to see if there was a change. Because if there is not a change, what do you do? Again, you're measuring the blood pressure, you're giving a drug, and you want most of the times the blood pressure to be lower. Same uh, for, for supplements, measuring vitamin D level, taking vitamin D supplements, measuring it again if you have the right dosage. And that's the future. <laughs>